we can use VST effects right here in DaVinci Resolve. But of course, we need to set them up first so they actually scan our paths, right? Let me stop that playback. As you can see, I already have um, my paths added here, all of my effects, my VST effects right here, but I do have another path I need to add. So let's go ahead and look at that. Come up here to DaVinci Resolve and Preferences. Head over here to System, okay, System, and come down to Audio Plugins. Now right up here under VST Effects is where we are going to add our paths for our VST plugins. As you can see, I already have the two main paths added, but if you know anything about Native Instruments plugins, they always install by default into their own path. So I need to make sure I add this path here, here in C, Program Files, Native Instruments, in my case, okay? In my case, wherever your VST plugins are installed, obviously uh, add, the, add that path. So we'll go ahead and click Add, and then just navigate to that folder. And for us, it's going to be this folder right there. Just select that folder, it's added right here. So now we need to go ahead and save and hit OK. But as you can see, these changes will take effect the next time we restart Resolve, all right? OK, we're good there. Let's go ahead and shut down Resolve and we'll open it back up. All right, so we have restarted Resolve. Now let's come back up here to DaVinci Resolve and preferences, come back to audio plugins. And you can see that path is there, so we will have those uh, plugins. We'll look at those in just a second, but underneath that, you'll see available plugins. So we can see all of the plugins that we have, and I have a ton because you know we do a lot of audio. And if there's anything in here that you don't want taking up your list, as you can see over here in VST plugins, we have a ton of VST plugins, right? So if you have a bunch of plugins that you're not going to use, you can hit up here, get into preferences here, audio plugins, and just untick things that you don't want to use. You can also enable all or uh, disable all, but we're fine with uh, this right here. So let's head over to Fairlight, which of course is the integrated DAW within DaVinci Resolve. And let's go ahead and add a VST effect. Let's see if we have our native instruments plugins in here. So because we have so many plugins in here, I know the name of the plugin that I want. So I'll just search here and it's gonna be VC and we'll go for the VC160. This is from native instruments. Now I can take this plugin and drop it right on a clip or right on a track right here where it says effects. I can just drop it right there. So whenever it's on a track, obviously, just like in your DAW, it's going to affect all audio on that track. So I play back, you can see, we are working here, all right? Same if I was down here, for example, we're still working, okay? But I'll just remove this for now. If I put it just on a clip, it's only going to affect that clip, all right? So I play back, you can see it's, work in there. If I was playing back down here though, nothing's happening there, right? Okay. So you can place your effects on tracks or on clips. And we're in, you know, we're in Fairlight uh, right here, as you can tell. Whenever you have a VST effect on a clip, you can see the effects right there. You can also see that over here in the edit page, you can see the effects right there. So we can right click here and say, remove attributes and let's get rid of the plugin right there. And now that is gone. Let me turn this down and this down as well. All right, so we can, of course, as you already saw, search through all of our VST plugins over here in the Fairlight page. Let's do this again. Let's grab another another plugin here. Let's just type in a CLA, something from Waves, and we'll just say CLA Mix Hub, and we'll just throw it over here in our mixer. And there it is, set up and ready to go. Again, if your mixer isn't showing, just make sure you click that button right there. Now, if I head over here and just hover over the plugin name, you can see we have this red dot, our fader icon, and this down arrow. So this little dot here corresponds with this little red dot right here. This is our bypass. So I can bypass right up here, or if it was closed, for example, I can just bypass it real quick right in there and we'll open this up so you can actually see that. Boom, 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 a boom, right? Okay, open and close your VST effects right here. Our fader icon, just open that right up. And as you can see, it's working.
So that is using our VST effects here in Fairlight, bunch of stuff you can do with your VST audio effects. But we can also use them over here on the edit page as well. So make sure your effects library is showing. Go to our VST effects. And let's just uh, type in something from Plugin Alliance. I'll just type in BX there. And let's say I want to use an SSL console directly on this clip here. Let's just grab it and throw it right on the clip. And right there it is. Set up, ready to go. And of course, head back to Fairlight. You can see that effect right here is applied on this clip. Okay. Let me actually go ahead and remove it. Then we'll open up our mixer here and I can grab an effect and put it right on a track here. So I'll just drop it right in there, right on audio one. You can see we get the effects showing right there for us. And let me make sure I actually turn this down a little bit. Okay. Now everything on this track here, obviously, is going to be affected by our plugin because it's on the track and not just, you know, not just on the clip. Another thing we could do if you wanted to, let me just type in something like a uh, chorus or something. And I'll just grab any old chorus. Doesn't really matter which one we grab. And we'll just grab this one from air, throw it right on the clip in this case. Obviously you can hear that. Sounds awful, not the point. The point is this, if you set something up directly on a clip and you like what you set up and therefore you don't need to have this uh, playing live basically all of the time, Come up here to our three dots and we can actually bounce the effect to audio, which is going to render the effect to the track. Okay, so bounce that effect to the audio and boom, now we have a brand new audio file right there. And as you can see down here, there is no longer an effect on this track. Playback sounds all chorusy, sounds awful, but as you can see, we can actually render that directly to a track. I'm gonna control Z out of that and go right back to uh, what we had. Even over here in Fairlight, I can control Z out of that let's remove those attributes by the bang man all right so that is using our vst plugins here in davinci resolve again use them over here in our edit window or obviously it's much easier to use them over here in fairlight since it is our uh, integrated d a w let's grab another effect here and we'll just grab maybe some meters throw it right in there on the track Awesome, got some nice meters going now. See all that, cool. You could even do something crazy if you want and maybe add like uh, a guitar effect, right? And as we saw from a previous video on how to record a microphone, you could just go over those steps again, right? And you could actually input a guitar directly into that track and then you could uh, record a guitar with your amp simulator plugin right here in your NLE, which is pretty, pretty crazy. Let me remove that. Otherwise it's gonna sound, it's gonna sound awful, okay? But that is using our VST effects right here in DaVinci Resolve.